So about a month ago on stream, somebody came to me in chat while I was in the middle of making a beat on stream. And they said, yo, my man, there's this guy on YouTube. He took your name. He stole your name. He said, like, I don't know if he had the name before you, but I was looking for one of your videos and I saw this guy in my search results. And I went to go check it out thinking it was going to be like some sort of like big YouTube channel. And I, I was legitimately going to be in a situation where like I had to completely remodel my entire YouTube channel after like the years and years that I've been doing this stuff. You know, most people know I have that name on Spotify. I have that name on Apple Music. I have that name uh, on certain websites where you can't even change your name. And I've had this name since I think like 2018. So I was really worried that like I'd have to be in a situation where either I have to like go change my name because someone was like more popular than me or something to that effect. But no, this guy has seven subscribers. He uploaded one singular type beat to his channel. There was actually two before uh, when I was introduced to him, but I guess there's just one now. It's this pop smoke type beat. Uh, it looks like since then he has changed his name, but like the fucking effort I had to put in was insane. He still hasn't changed his profile picture still my name, but I mean, I, I guess he changed his channel name. So I reached out to him by email, like probably three, four months ago. So I said, hey there, I'm contacting you in regards to YouTube channel. You seem to have unintentionally stolen my producer name. My producer name is Joss the Producer and I've been releasing music since 2015. I have music released on Spotify and Apple Music under the name Joss the Producer. I am trademarking the name as well and I kindly request that you change yours. It creates a lot of confusion when people are looking for my music and it also messes with the YouTube music algorithm. With that aside, I do really like your beats. It's just that I don't like other people using my name. Just best regards, Joss the Producer. So I sent this to the email that he used to provide in his about section which he has since removed. So I commented on this video in the comment section down here and you might notice that there's nothing here because he removed it since but I waited two months for him to either reply or change the name or whatever and it's not that big of a deal to be honest I'm just very protective over my content and since I'm such a small content creator right now if somebody does take my name it'll be a lot easier for them to become more successful than me with that producer name which is why I'm trying to stop this now before it uh, progresses any further so I left a comment in his comment section saying yo dude I emailed you two months ago for you to change your name and I've given you plenty of time to change your name or respond to me explaining why you can or cannot uh, and it's still the same so yo why do you still have the same name as me and what his response was uh, was that he had never gotten an email from me and that he would change it to something else if I stopped crying about it and my whole intention here was just to like kindly respectfully request that he change his name because I've been using mine for so many years and honestly I didn't want to like feed more into the fire add more negativity so I just ignored it I didn't even say anything and now that I'm looking for it for proof it's been sense deleted I guess maybe he reflected on it and realized that maybe he shouldn't just came out so abrasive in the first place and I know most people won't uh, care about this at all but this is just something I felt uh, kind of important to talk about and address just in case he does become famous because again he, he still does have my name in his banner and his profile picture but there used to be more beats on here I guess he just has since taken him off I mean obviously this isn't a huge threat anymore because he hasn't uploaded publicly in seven months and yeah it really isn't that big of a deal but I mean just put yourself in my shoes you know I'm very small content creator I went from having 70 to 400 subscribers within the span of like three months recently and I am very protective over my content not because I hold it to this like huge high esteem or anything not that I'm saying it's the best content ever but it does take me a long time and a lot of effort to put each video together uh, I've uploaded a video every single day recently I used to do one every other day for like six years ever since 2014 I've been uploading onto YouTube and most people if you go to the very bottom of my YouTube channel you will only see videos uh, from like 2018 until now that's because I removed them all I really wish I didn't I was just really embarrassed over them but now looking back I kind of realized like I wish I had saved that stuff to kind of look back and reflect on it to see how I've grown as an artist as a content creator stuff like that but as you can see I've been I've been making videos for as long as I can remember, this guy drops one video, and so obviously, yes, this isn't a huge threat, but uh, how was I supposed to know that back then? Just, I've been making content for like six, seven years, and the last thing I want to do right now is have to start all over again with a new name. I really don't want to have to do that. I figured I'd just talk about this. Uh, I hope he eventually changes his banner, or his profile picture, or just stops altogether because I mean he hasn't uploaded in like seven months I do wish the guy best of luck you know he seems to be a talented producer I listen to 
the beats that used to be up on his channel. There's only one now, but I listened to all the beats on his channel before, and they do actually seem to be really good. Not to mention, I don't want to get credit for any of his stuff, and I also don't want him to get credit for any of my stuff. Like, it kind of goes both ways. So I wish uh, that guy the best of luck. He's probably not going to see this video because he knows next to nothing about me. He didn't even know I existed. He didn't intentionally steal my name. He probably didn't even know I existed. I'm not accusing him of, like, doing this out of maliciousness or anything. I'm, like, 99% sure he didn't even know I existed. But Joss is literally like a shortened version of my name and my initials. It's not like I just randomly chose that name out of nowhere. Like that name actually has meaning behind it. But from what I have seen, his producer name has absolutely nothing in correlation with his actual name, at least from what I have observed. But just if you're starting music, content, YouTube, Twitch, whatever you're starting, research for like five seconds to see if anybody has used your name. You know, that's what I did when I started. You know, what's funny is that a similar situation like this happened to me. When I first started music in like 2014, 2015, I didn't go by Joss the Producer, I went by Josiah. I didn't go by Joss the Producer until like 2018. So I went by the name Josiah for like three, four years, because that's literally just my first name. And then one day I'm sitting back and I see Josiah Crisis pop up on Lyrical Lemonade and I'm like, Fuck. And just having that happen, having the now current Josiah be famous and be really successful uh, and be actually a really good artist that I am a fan of, I really wasn't looking for something like that to happen again where I'd been building my discography up for literally four years at the time, three to four years at the time, and to have somebody else who is completely unaware of my existence uh, to use my name and get big. So that has already happened before. Now, I thought it would happen. Obviously, it didn't. Obviously, everything's gonna be fine. Uh, at least, I hope so. The guy eventually changed his name back to normal, which I appreciate. Uh, again, I wish him the best of luck. Uh, I know nobody l literally cares about the situation at all. I figured I just, like, I like documenting things that happen to me sometimes so I can, like, reflect on them later. Uh, but if this did interest you, like, at all, feel free to like the video, subscribe, comment your thoughts. Joss, the other producer, if you're out there, uh, I wish you the best of luck. This is no hard feelings to you at all. Sorry if I seem like obsessive or anything. It's just, it's my name. It's uh, the name I've been going by for a while. So yeah, uh, thanks to anybody who made it this far. I doubt that anyone did because the retention rate on my videos is fucking horrendous. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks to everyone who watched. If anyone watched, my viewership has gone down a lot because, you know, March, April, that kind of thing. It's just bad month for YouTube. And my content is probably getting boring to some people. Because, uh, I mean, at one point, I just uploaded nothing but type beats every day or every other day. And now I'm actually, like, showing my face and talking about things. And I think it's kind of resulting in my viewership going down. But, I mean, it's the content I like to make. So, whatever. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Thanks.